We have just received our MetaQuest Pro headset. The whole team is so excited and I can't wait to show you what's in the box. So this is the box that it comes in, quite similar to the MetaQuest 2. I'm so excited to get this open. Okay, so now that the plastic's off, I'm just going to slide it out of its sleeve. So this is the box. Again, very similar to the MetaQuest 2. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. The whole team was so excited that this was going to be black. And here we have the headset. It is so much thinner than the Quest 2 and it feels really sturdy. The padding actually feels really soft and the adjustable strap here is so smooth, so much smoother than the Quest 2. Now, if I take this off here, oh, they are so much easier to slide than the Quest 2. I also like how the on off button is hidden up here, but also would be quite easy to find when you have it on. And then we also have the little volume buttons here and here as well. Next, we have the controllers. Just by looking at them, I already like them so much more than the old ones. They have a really nice weight to them. They just feel more substantial and they just really comfortably fit into your hand. They also have their own little cameras here, which means that they can track you without the headset. So you could put the controllers behind your back and not use tracking at all. So these are the two different controllers side by side. As you can see, this is definitely the winner. Although what I do like about the Quest 2 is that I could sit them upside down like this. But overall, this one definitely feels so much better. So in here, we've got all our charging cables. We've got our instruction manual in here and a cleaning cloth, which is also really handy to have. Particularly being black, it's gonna show all those fingerprints. If I lift this up, then we can see our charging station. I am so excited for this. No one likes having cords hanging around and this just looks so cool. I can't wait to set it up on my desk and just have the headset sitting there. Oh, and under here, so these are our um, light blockers. These are labeled left and right and attached to the side of the headset. I almost missed these because they were in with the charging cables, but these are the stylus tip pens. I'm really excited to try these guys out later. Seeing it side by side with the Quest 2, it is just so much cooler. I have the adjustable strap on my 2, um, but the Pro feels so much smoother tightening and loosening it. I'm interested to see how it feels on because it doesn't have this strap up here to support the weight against your head. So maybe it'll feel a bit heavy, but we'll have to see. So now all that's left to do is set this guy up and I'll be back to tell you what I think. So one of the first things I noticed straight away when putting on the headset is just how clear the image was. The colors seem more vibrant and everything was just crisper. The controllers also seem more responsive as well. So I guess that's that extra processing power there too. What was really surprising is when you put the headset on straight away, there was no sort of jiggling around or adjusting to find the clearest image. It was there straight away. Cause that was one of my pet peeves with the Quest 2. You were always having to tell people to kind of move it up and down to make sure that the image was focused. The other thing that I found surprising was it actually felt really comfortable on. I thought it might feel a little heavy without the strap supporting some of the weight of the headset, but it felt like I could wear it for hours. The other big difference that you notice straight away is that the headset lets in light from both the sides and underneath which I thought would be really distracting when you're in VR. But surprisingly, I didn't actually notice at all. But if you do find it an issue, that's where these little guys come in. And I was so impressed by how these attach. So they've got these little magnets in them and all you have to do is bring it up to the headset and it just attaches like that. They are so cool. They're really easy to take on and off. I actually think you'd be able to do it with the headset on. The other thing that is really great about it not sitting right up against your face is that it is so much easier to put on with glasses, particularly if your frames are quite wide, which was always the problem with the Quest 2. The only thing that I found a little bit disappointing was the pass-through. It is 10 times better than the Quest 2, 
but from the videos that were released beforehand, I thought it was gonna be a lot clearer than it actually was, but maybe this is something that they'll update and improve in the future. So overall consensus, I absolutely love it. I was blown away by the clarity of our virtual experiences in the Quest Pro versus the Quest 2. Also, just by how it looks and how comfortable it is to wear. I'm going to do another video comparing the Quest Pro to the Quest 2 and what our virtual experiences look like, but for now, just take my word on how good they are.